Hello there, my name is Shikin and welcome back to Ras Aquaculture. This is the first video for 2021 and we thought that it would be great to start with a general outlook of the mud crab industry. 2020 was a tough year for many business and many of our clients in the F&B trade are witnessing a slowdown. In this video, we will be sharing some of the pricing data for 2020 and what to expect for the year of 2021. Thank you for sticking around. Let us first start with taking a look at the 2020 price in Indonesia. Although it might not represent the global market, it is quite representative of the Southeast Asia market. Unlike the previous year, we did not see the 10 to 15% price hikes. This is due to the pandemic outbreak in China, causing a decline of demand in the global market. With the aviation industry coming to a halt in Q2, we saw the interrelated effect of the live crab and air travel. With broken logistics, many restaurants or suppliers were facing shortage for crab, despite availability in demand and supply. Nevertheless, we saw a gradually recovery heading towards 2021 throughout due to better establishment in the new logistical routes that are independent of air travels. As we see that prices are slowly climbing throughout the first to second week of January, we expect them to top during the second week of February, during the Chinese New Year period. While many countries are still experiencing the ill effect of the pandemic, many F&B outlets have pivot into deliveries and takeout models. Furthermore, it is very likely for Chinese consumers to compensate and make up for the lost opportunity to celebrate last year. Therefore, we still expect good demands for mud crab for the Q1 of 2021. While the prices will not be as high as the previous years 2018-2019, it is nevertheless still crucial for farmers to recover their costs associated with feed, crablets and etc. While the outlook for the prices remain in recovery for Q1 of 2021, there are still worrying signs on the supply side. The first is due to the heavy monsoon that many farms are experiencing in Malaysia. The heavy rain is likely to impact both freshwater and brackish water aquaculture due to flooding and deterioration in water quality. Some of the farms have already reported high mortality during this period. The reduction in output of many farms will continue to drive the prices of mud crab or seafood in general. Secondly, as many farms were affected financially due to the 2020 pandemic, many of them are reluctant to stock their ponds at maximum levels due to the fear of the resurgence of the virus outbreak. As a result, we also expect many to be operating at lower output as compared to the 2019 period. This is exceptionally true for shrimp farmer which were forced to sell their shrimp at cost price or at a loss in an attempt to recover some capital involved. While shrimp and crabs are not similar in price, consumer will be inclined to substitute into crabs given the high shrimp price. We have explained and shown you the 2020 performance and given you an outlook for the Q1 in 2020. We hope you enjoy this video and give some thought on how you would like to position yourself to ensure you gain the maximum profit with regard to the mud crab trade. We conduct courses for those interested in the mud crab industry and in our courses, we provide detailed insight into the mud crab trade. You can also download our free ebook to learn more about the mud crab business. 
Don't forget to give us thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.